what is going on guys so I'm actually feeling a little froggy and I decided to make another video um, covering weeks seven eight and maybe even nine depending on how fast this goes um, so week seven is uh, at right after team week which is where everybody gets their teeth pulled and stuff like that um, which sucks because it's actually pretty much a week before final drill um, and so you guys don't get a lot of practice, and most likely it's going to screw the platoon over. Just FYI. Um, so we left off in team week with doing a 5K hike that Saturday. Um, moving on into week, what is it, seven? Week seven. Um, this is going to be your testing week and your final drill week, pretty much. So you're going to have some PT. You're going to possibly do some, it says pugil sticks again here, or the bayonet assault course um i can't remember which one we did to be honest but then we had our written exam um which is multiple choice 100 questions it's really hard to stay awake during this exam i swear it is so hard um but you got to do it you want to make 100 on this um because once again if it's something that you don't make 100 on or you don't do really well on you're gonna get screwed up is what it is. Uh, make sure you scream the knowledge before you even get to this point. You're going to have a crap ton of uh, practice tests that you do in the squad bay. Um, if your drill instructors are good and you know what they're doing, what they're supposed to be doing, um, they're going to set you up for success. They're going to give you a whole bunch of practice tests um, in the squad bay, and it's pretty much going to be you're going to read maybe the first three, like words of that question and most likely you're going to know what the answer is um we did really well in our platoon we actually took initial drill um and we took initial testing as well um what i mean by that is our chief drill instructor had pretty much like her own trophies of these particular things it was initial drill final drill Initial testing, final testing, PRAC app, which is practical application, um, CFT, PFT, and rifle, rifle range. Um, so she had these different things, and whichever platoon won more of them was considered the honor platoon. Um, so yeah, we won initial drill, and we won initial testing, um, so it's really important because you want to be the best. You want to make sure you know all this stuff. It's not hard. You literally, I'm telling you, just scream the knowledge and you're going to know it. Um, what I mean by that is your drill instructors will go, for example, um, two Marines, two medals. And you go, ma'am, two, Marine, two, two Marines, two medals are Dan Daly, Smedley Butler. So those two Marines got um, two... Medal of Honor, Medals of Honor, um, and so that question is going to be on the test, most likely, um, you know, so that way you, you know it, you've screamed it, you know it, um, that's pretty much all I have on the initial testing, just scream the knowledge, you're going to be fine, do well on the practice test, you're going to be fine, stay awake during the test, you're going to be fine, um, ooh, repel tower and gas chamber, <sighs> gas chamber, um, you're going to get a class on how to put on the gas mask. You're going to put on the gas mask. You're going to check for tightness, uh, check your seal, that kind of stuff. Um, they're going to tell you what you're going to do in the gas chamber. You're going to line up in front of the gas chamber, gas mask on, and you're going to go into the gas chamber. Um, it's really not that bad. Don't freak out. If you freak out, you're going to have a bad day. Um, like I said, don't freak out. It's perfectly fine. You're going to be fine to everybody's in there um you're gonna go in there they're gonna tell you to break the seal at some point so you have to come up underneath your mask put your two fingers in the glass they have to see your fingers in the glass now when i say everybody needs to do this everybody needs to do it because if you don't you're gonna screw your buddies over um by doing that by, by not breaking the seal and putting your fingers up there. You're going to screw your buddies over because they're breaking the seal. They're breathing in this shit. And you're standing there scared not to do this. And they're going to wait on you. So, 
if everybody does it at one time, this could be 15 seconds versus a minute. Just saying. Um, but you're going to break the seal. They're going to tell you, all right, you know, go back. So you're going to reseal it. Um, you're going to hold the front of your mask. You're going to blow out. And then you're going to um, cover up your canisters. Whenever you cover your canisters, that's when you're going to suck in. Right? You're going to clear it. Um, you're going to do this about three or four times. I can't remember if it's three or four, but you're going to do this. Um, like I said, it's really not that bad. Um, if you've ever been around pepper spray, like if, if it's ever busted or if somebody's like ever sprayed a lot of it and you've been around it and you're kind of choking a little bit, that's what it feels like. Um, it does kind of feel like needles in your chest after about the third time or second or third time. Don't open your eyes whenever you break the seal. Um, I purposely breathed in a crap ton of it because I was sick. And they said, if you're sick, it's going to clear you out. So I was like, bet. <sighs> um, but it didn't clear me out. That was the sad part. So I went through hell for nothing. Um, if I'm not mistaken, we actually did the gas chamber later on that day. We didn't do it in the beginning. Um... But yeah, so after you break the seal like three or four times, you're going to, you know, do your thing, clear it out, go back. And then they're going to tell you to get out. So you're going to like go around the room um, and get out and you're going to come out. You're taking, you're taking your gas mask off. Snot's flying everywhere. Um, you're coughing, you're choking, and they're going to tell you to run towards something. Take your canisters off. Um, throw those, those like in a barrel, then you're going like take your mask and you're going to like dump it in this huge bucket of water and then you're going to go and you're going to like run it underneath some more water and then you're going to strip down into your greens. And I think that's it. That's the, that's the gas chamber. It's really not that bad. My skin really wasn't burning. People said that your skin was going to burn. I didn't really have an issue with that. Um, and I was like the third or fourth group to go in. Um, so, you know, there was some CS, CS gas already going. Um, it wasn't like I was the first one. By the way, if you get the last one, the CS gas is the worst because they're just burning the CS gas on top of the other CS gas. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, we did have one girl freak out um, while I was in there. And our senior grabbed her. And held her pretty much against the wall. Um, and another person came over and helped her clear her mask and had to get her to calm down. Once she calmed down and figured out that she could actually do it, they sent her back through again um, to let her do it by herself and actually pass. So nobody fell the gas chamber. Um, everybody passed, but she did freak out. So don't freak out because you're going to have to go back through it again or you're going to get dropped for not doing it because it is a requirement and you do have to do it every year. So you might as well just get used to it now. Um, but earlier that day, we did the rappel tower. Everybody was scared of the rappel tower. <laughs> um, it really wasn't that bad. You get up there, you look down, and you're like, oh, shit. But, um, truth is, is they got you. You're in a harness. Um, you're not gonna fall at all. Even, in, like, if you were to let go of the rope, um, and you were to, like, jump off the wall and, like, literally stand there, they have people down at the bottom holding the rope that are gonna, like, set a break to where it, like, tightens it. And you stop in mid, in mid air, um, on that rope. Like it, you're just gonna be like hanging there, like if you were just tied off. Like we had people there, you know, they would lose their balance or they would get scared and they wouldn't put their feet on the wall, and so they'd let go and hold on to the top of the rope by themselves. Um, but that's not gonna stop you from coming down. What stops you is the person down there at the bottom that sets the break. Um, so you're going to be fine. You're going to get up there. <sighs> I need a breath. Hold on. You're going to stand in this huge, long S line to get all the way up there to the top because people are going. They only let so many people up top at a time. And you have your platoon, your sister platoon, and all the male platoons as well. So... You're just in a single file line, making it up this way. Took forever, absolutely forever to get up there, which of course let, lets anticipation build. Um, but you get up there, get up to the edge. There's a guy standing there, there's a bar. You're gonna hold on to that bar. Um, he's going to put your 
uh, rope through, you know, your canister. Not canister. It's too late for me. Uh, carabiner. Come on. Whatever. That thing. And you're going to say, they're going to say, like, locking the gate. You're going to say, lock the gate. Um, left hand. Setting the brakes. Let, uh, whatever it is. I can't remember. It's on the video um, of the U.S. Marine Corps or Pelletire video. It's on there. Look it up. Um, but everything they say, you're going to repeat. Um, they're going to hand you the rope. They're going to tell you what you do. You're going to turn backwards, back up, put your toes on the end or on the edge. Then you're going to lean back. Um, you're going to have your feet on the um, actual tower, the part that goes down um, that says USMC on the side. You're going to put your feet there. You're going to pretty much be at like a 90 degree angle at that point. And you're going to walk down just a little bit. Um, after that, you are free to go. So you're holding on with this hand, um, your left hand. Your right hand is going to be around at the back. You're, and anytime you want to, like, go, you're going to pull it out um, with the rope. So that way you can, like, you know, go down. Like I said, it's not that bad. A lot of people freak out, but you're fine. It's Nothing is going to happen to you. Um, the people down there on the bottom got you. Um like I said, I've, I've seen plenty of people let go of the rope and still be perfectly fine because the person at the bottom is doing their job and they're stopping you. Don't freak out about that. So you do the rappel tower and the gas chamber all in one day. Rappel tower is first. Then you get box chow. Um, and then you end up going into the gas chamber. So that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. And then you have final drill, it looks like, at the end of the week. Um, like I said, final drill, it's going to suck a little bit because all those people that got their wisdom teeth taken out, they're, you know, they're going to be in there with you and they haven't been practicing. And so most likely you're going to suck, but hopefully you don't, don't ever talk in formation either, especially during drill. Don't talk in formation. Um, all right. So that was pretty much wrapping up week seven. Um, I'll talk a lot about that, so I'm actually going to end this video at week 7 because that was a lot, and this video is already 12 minutes. People don't really like to stay engaged that long. Um, so, yep, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up. Next video is going to be week 8. Yep, week 8, and it's going to be grass week, so stay tuned. I might or might... <laughs> Looking at my cup of coffee, honey. I don't have much of my coffee left. I might or might not make this video tonight. So, same as always, if you have any questions, hit me up. Don't be afraid to ask uh, anything I will answer. It may take me a minute to get back, um, but I'll definitely answer anybody's question about anything. So, without further ado, I'll see you next time.